So for the pleasure of the assembled Vaishnavas, I was Sunidhi to ask me to kindly uh, chose something from the Bhakti Krandas. So I was thinking yesterday that actually it is very nice that our Acharyas, they have left us such a beautiful legacy. And um, we are always talking about uh, Raganuga Bhakti. And I was thinking that the Granta of Ragavat Machantrika from my Gurudev Stika, there are there's one chapter, it is chapter 10, illumin first illumination starting from verse 10, where uh, Shila Vishwana Chakravati part is um, choosing three essential verses. So Nidhi Didi kindly posted those three very, very essential verses. Actually, those three verses are considered to be the nutshell of Raganuga Bhakti. They are from Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, from Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. And it, they are very, very enlivening, inspiring, and are very, very clear. And Baba's Tika is just, you will see, yeah, slower, I know. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> very, very clear for us to understand. And by the permission of Gurudev and the senior Vaishnavas here, we will read from this beautiful excerpt of Raghavat Machandrika with many, many beautiful, beautiful points you will see. I love this two, three verses, which are so much the essence of Raghunuga Bhakti. So I will skip the long Sanskrit. Vishwana Chakravati parts texts are very, very long and straight uh, to the translation slowly. <laughs> so, text 10, first illumination, Raghavatma Chandrika. Maha Purana Srimad Bhagavat, the most excellent of Shastras, which means scriptures, and all the Upanishads, they state, to them I am the beloved, the very self, the son, the friend, the guru, the well-wisher, the Ishtadev, and the chosen one. Shri Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, in German this is called Nectar the Hingabe, Ocean of Nectar. Shri Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu by Srila Rupa Goswami Pat only exists to describe the devotion presented in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Therefore, the words of such bhakti grandas, bhakti literature, are to be accepted as powerful or as important as the words of the Shastra. In this Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, there are three instructions which are as follows. So here, Vishwanath, Srila Vishwanath Chakravati part uh, is establishing the point in this first paragraph that actually the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu should be taken as important as any Shastra describing Bhakti. It is coming from the heart of our dear Srila Rupa Goswami part and Srila Vishwana Chakrabati part honors this granta here in this first paragraph, like it is custom to honor when he is quoting from something. He is honoring the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, and he will quote now in his own work, as it is also a beautiful example of humility, not to concoct anything on their own, our Acharyas always follow the Mahajans. So here he will quote three 
very, very wonderful verses, which are there in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. I can send the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu Granta in the Radha Dasyam, where you can read the Tika of Jiva Goswami and Srila Vishwanatha Chakravati Pat himself on these three verses as an additional. So, the first verse goes as follows. One should remember Sri Krishna and his dear associates. Oh, no, sorry. One should remember Sri Krishna and his dear associate of one's own preference. Being attached. Govinda. Sorry. Govinda, can you close the door? It's too loud. <laughs> one should one should remember Sri Krishna and his dear associate of one's own preference being attached to narrations about them and always residing in Braja. This is not the first one. Second one. On this path of Raganuga, this is now the verse we have so much, we heard so many times in the presence of our Gurudev. On this path of Raganuga, the Sadaka should serve both in his present Sadakateha, present body, and in his Siddha form, following in the wake of the residence of Braja, desiring to have feelings, bhav, similar to a dear associate of Krishna's, of one's own choice. For us, this is clear. For us, this means Manjari bhav, following Rupa, Manjari, and Rati Manjari. And the third verse, equally important, hearing and chanting, and all the other angas of Vaidhi Bhakta, Bhakti, are also to be engaged in the path of Raganuga. This is what the learned ones have ascertained. So here, Srila Sadhu Maharaj, very often he said, outwardly we may practice the same angas as Vaidhi Bhaktis, but he many, many times, Sadhu Maharaj Guru said that actually, inwardly, in our heart, we cultivate feelings of Raganuga, following the dear, dear examples of Rupa Manchari and Radhi Manchari. But outwardly, one may not know what is the difference. So here we hear this is actually a very important point, not to neglect, Baba will explain later, not to neglect the important items, which are also helpful and favorable for Raganuga Bhakti Sadhana. So now Baba is explaining these three verses. Tika. Previously, we have indicated that the scriptural injunctions are the means to attain the desired transcendental feelings. Now, it is described by Srila Vishwana Chakravati Pad, which scriptures we must rely on for that. Srimad Bhagavad Mahapurana, which is the essence of all the Upanishads and the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the book which contains 
all the divine Bhagavad Rasa that was bound within the heart, within the hall of Sri Madhrupa Kusmami Pats, lotus like heart, and which explains all the devotion that was propounded by Srimad Bhagavat. From all these scriptures, the rules of worship of Rag Atmika Bhakti and its subsequent Raganuga Bhajan is learned. The Baba here is referring now to the first paragraph where Chakravati Pad was establishing the necessity of following Bhakti Krandas like Maha Bhagavat, Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. The blessed author, Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Pad, first quotes a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam 3. 2538, which was spoken by Srila Kapiladev. Yesham aham priya atma sutascha sakka guru surito daivam ishtam. Bhagavan Kapiladev says, I am there, my devotees, lover, soul, son, friend, preceptor, heart's friend, and worshipful deity. When Shiva, when Srimad Shiva Goswami Pat describes Raka Bhakti in Bhakti Sandarbha 310, he quotes this verse and he explains it as follows. In this verse, the word Priya refers to Sri Krishna as the lover of the gopis. Atma refers to the Param Brahma, in which form the four Kumaras and other Shanta Bhakta see him. Now we go through all these rasas. Sutta means the son of Sri Vrajeshwarananda Maharaj. Saka means the friend of Sridam and all the others. And Guru, the superior of Pratyumna and others. All these devotees are interlocked in a loving relationship with Sri Krishna. So here we have this wonderful point. Srila Gurudev is always pointing out to us that without relationship, nothing can be attained. So Srila Jiva Goswami part is very wonderfully explaining this verse from Srila Kapila Dev Muni, where he successfully and subsequently explains in this verse so many rasas and all these rasas from the lover to the Aishwarya Bhav are all based on relationship. And I know that Srila Sadam Maharaj and also my good have always very much focus on the point of relationship. All these devotees are interlocked in a loving relationship with Sri Krishna. He is someone's brother, someone else's maternal uncle, someone else's husband, etc., etc. And in many ways, he manifests himself as the heart's friend of all these devotees who have all these different relationships 
with him. For his servant Daruka, he manifests himself as the worshipful Ishtadev. All this is very well known. So we see clearly that the relationship is the most important thing. I saw Sadhu Maharaj is coming, that is nice. Forgive me, but so this is so much important that actually everything is based on relationship. Everyone, every living entity has a relationship with Radha and Krishna. Mm -hmm. And now Baba is moving on. Ah, Tarun Baba, I have a question. <laughs> yes. If I may. Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I am just waiting until Satan Raj is coming. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's perfect. I was thinking because uh, we have every Wednesday, we have this uh, uh, international sharing of Darcy's to get to know each other. So I want to also introduce you a little bit because many maybe don't know you from your from your uh, background. And that in this regard, I also have a question because you are working as a teacher, right? Yes. And every day you have a bunch of students and you are teaching uh, geography or I don't know, math. What is your math, subject? Mainly math and sports. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So our Tarun Baba is a teacher. And now we have heard that um, Shila Rupa Goswami says that um, actually the secret to come closer to the relationship with Radha and, and Krishna is to always remember them, always in the Leelas. And ourselves as a part of the Leela, as a small servant, you know, like a Darcy. So how is, what is your secret? I want to become a little personal now, forgive me. Oh, because okay. I feel personally in my life, what has always inspired me most is when the devotees share about their own practice in Bhakti. Then the theory becomes alive. Okay. So we know that it is a secret to, to be in constant remembrance. How do you do this when you are at school? What is your bridge? How do you try to remember at that time? <laughs> How do you feel yourself so, in your yes, yes, yes. That yes. is, First I think, very interesting. I would like to hear this from you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so I, I speak honestly, and everybody who knows me know that I cannot, I will not tell any nonsense. I will speak honestly from my heart. So you are right, dear Suniti. This is not a very easy task. So Baba, I was coming with this question exactly 2014. I went to Baba, 17, 17. I went to Baba and I said, Baba, he was a high school teacher himself. If you listened to these wonderful lectures that they have been shared on Radha Dasyam from Baba's disappearance day, you get quite a lot of information from his life. He was a high school teacher for many years. So now the question is like, <clears throat> you have to understand at what point you are. So I definitely, I can feel that there is a Swarup for me. I have not realized this Swarup. I have not embraced it fully, but I know theoretically and I feel the presence that there is something. Papa actually told me it is like a cloth, a wonderful, brilliant cloth waiting for us to grow into. I love this example very much. So I know that this is there. Shila Sadhu Maharaj once told me it is like a treasure box waiting for you in the box. And when you are qualified, you can open that box and then you will see it. So I went to Baba and I asked him, Baba, how can I meditate on my mantra form when I'm teaching 10-year-olds, 9-year-olds? And he said very simply and very easily, you just see them as parts and parcel of the divine couple. And of course, you are not in the Nikuncha, I am in the classroom. But with this attitude as a servant, 
as a servant of these young souls, and you cannot see them as manjaris, I know, because they are boys and girls, but you have to see them as souls, and you have to have the attitude of the manjari to serve them. So I can frankly tell you this is not a very easy task because some of these children are not very respectful in this day and age. I have quite, I have to say, some of them are actually also rascals. So what it needs, it needs a lot of strength. And if I don't do bhajan in the morning nicely, I don't have the strength to be fully, fully present in my consciousness. But the more you do in the morning, the more you put your finger in the electricity of spiritual life, the more you can deal with that. And Baba told me to see all these souls as expansions, as really like you serve them. And it is the attitude, you know, this, this, I am not a humble person, but I have to try this attitude to serve them. And I serve them in this matter with education. I teach them math. I teach them German. I teach all these things which they need to prosper in life. So it is, uh, it is not a schizophrenic thing. It is not that, oh, I, in the beginning I thought, how can I be a manjari in the classroom? This is not the point. The point is consciousness. The point is the path. You have to see them as, as little souls, and you are their sadak, servant. You serve them. You give the, the money. Many, many teachers think the other way around, that they infiltrate them with knowledge. But actually, you serve them that they can achieve knowledge. We are always, as mantras, I try to serve them as nicely as I can. But like I said, it is not always so easy. Sometimes I come to my limits when they are very disrespectful. But then you have to deal with that. It's a, it is a challenge. But the secret, you ask me, the secret is just always to remind, uh, remember that Baba is with you. Baba is standing next to you. And when I'm good in good consciousness, he is standing next to me. And I try my best that he would be satisfied what I do. So this is, like I said, not always easy. But the, the most important secret is Bachan in the morning. In these days now, I have to say, sometimes this is not very easy because there is so much going on in Germany. We don't have to go in this. But if I take enough time for spiritual life in the morning, I can do my seva in the outside world in a very nice consciousness. It is possible. And the more you do this, the more you feel satisfied. And the children, they appreciate because they feel that you take them seriously. They feel that I'm not behaving like a number to them or taking them as a number and I give them something, they feel that I, I appreciate them as souls. And I, this was very helpful when Baba told me, don't make fuss, just see them as, your, as, as, as someone you serve, as part and parcel of the divine couple. And this helps very much. This helps very much. So... This is what I can say, you know, that, that this, is, this is the most important thing to, to take enough time in the morning to fill up your batteries and to go out in the, in the world. And to always remember it's not a geographical thing. It is a thing of consciousness. It is a, a thing of consciousness, of bhav, that you like Sadhu Maharaj is always saying, you have to be in a service, service attitude. As soon as I go into the Purusha attitude, I dictate them and stuff. It doesn't feel nice, but I, if I go into Tinata P. Sunichina, it works. This is what I can say, Suniti. Thank you. This is very beautiful, Tarun Baba. And also, I like this point that you make. It's not uh, about infiltration of knowledge, but the service mood, the service mood as a service also to your Guru Bhajari or to our Guru Varga, this creates in them maybe also some kind of vibration that they Definitely. can receive something else Definitely. than Definitely. just some kind of knowledge. I always have That's a right. photo I always have a photo of Radakund in the classroom behind my by my my 
desk you know they, they, they cannot say anything it's just a it's a landscape you know i would not put up any pictures of radha and krishna because germany is crazy but but you can put a nice picture of radha kund and and the children see it and they they i'm not i'm not the qualified person that but they feel that there is someone with me who is very much qualified <laughs> <laughs> well, this is baba <laughs> if i'm in good consciousness you know yeah hi very interesting uh right so gurudev is here now gurudev we have been reading from three yeah. essential three essential verses from rupa goswami pad <laughs> and uh, Baba is just beginning the tika and he is pointing on a verse from Shila Kapila Muna, Kapila Dev Muni, where it is about the relationships. And now Baba is trying to explain these three most essential verses. I shall continue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Previously, it has been said that the love which carries the strong desire to attain association with the lord is called raga however the raga which rudra showed towards the lord's form of mohini murta is not to be accepted like that this is because the lord accepted the appearance of mohini murti to deceive shri rudra and when rudra saw this appearance of mohini murti his mind became very agitated the attachment that rudra had for mohini cannot be called raga because he had been deluded by maya and he had attained feelings of lustful attraction this last was caused by his enchantment with her form therefore this cannot be accepted as raga that devotion which is thus prompted by raga divine attachment in which particular attachments exist with defined self identifications such as concerthood and that mainly consists of hearing chanting remembering serving the lotus feet and offering oneself is called ragatmika bhakti this raga bhakti manifests itself automatically just like the waves of mother ganges this is sadhya bhakti not sadhana bhakti this means that there is no procedure of sadhana here the kind of devotion now baba was describing ragatmika now is describing raganuga the kind of devotion that follows in the wake of this sadhya bhakti that consists of hearing chanting and so on is called raganuga bhakti in shri bhakti rasamrita sindhu shri madhuba goswami pat describes raganuga bhakti in three verses the first one of them is krishnam smaran chanam chasya prestam nicha sammihitam tatat katha ratas chaso kuryat vasam vrache sada remembering one's own beloved nanda nanda na krishna and his dear most associates of one's own choice and taste this is very very important being attached to speaking about them 
and if possible, living with one's body in Sridam Brindavan, and if not, always living in Bracha, at least mentally. This is the first of these three verses. Shall I repeat, Gurudev? No, no, it's very clear. It's clear. Okay. The I second verse. Ma Bandavan, we have to mentally live in in Bandavan mentally. Thinking that I'm Bandavan. Yeah. Yeah, second verse. The second verse we all know and we all love Gurudev. Seva Sataka Rupena Sita Rupena Chatrahi Tad Bhava Lipsuna Karya Vrachalo Kanusataha. On the path of Raganuka Bhakti, one is engaged in the service of Krishna in one's Sataka Rupa, the form of the devotee, which means the present physical body as well as in one's siddha-deha, which means one's internally conceived, own desired body suitable for the service of Sri Krishna, mm -hmm. desiring the feelings and specific attraction of Sri Krishna's beloved devotees who are situated in Bracha and following in their footsteps. The third verse runs as follows Shravanod Kirtanadini Vaita Bhaktiuditani tu Yanyangani cha Tanyatra Vikneyani Mani Shipihi. All the items of devotion, which were discussed for Vaidhi Bhakti, are also practiced in Raganuga Bhakti. The wise devotees practice the items that are favorable for their own mood, but they do not act contrary to their own mood. So these were the three verses. That, that you explained. So later on, later on in, in the more verses that follow in Raghavad Machandrika, Srila Vishwana Chakravati part is explaining that actually there are items that are favorable for your bhav, for items that are very unfavorable for your bhav, and there are items which are not both, they are in the middle. So actually the sadhaka should follow all angas of bhakti, which are favorable for the chosen mood. So we follow those angas of bhakti, which are favorable for manchari bhav. So when you read later on, Srila Vishwana Chakra is giving nice example of those things. For example, he says that practicing root mudras and meditating on Tvarakadarm and the goddesses of Rukmini is not favorable for the mood of Manjari Bhava Sadhana. And the Sadaka should not uh, take these Angas of Bhakti, he should respect them, but he should not practice these Angas of Bhakti, which are not helping him in moving on forward in his Manjari Bhava Sadhana. So therefore this book is very, very concise and elaborate on these items which are very, very favorable for bhakti and Baba will explain also more later on. But mostly it is not to practice something which is disturbing the mood of Mantra Bhav Sadhan. Yeah. Okay. Very, very nice, very nice. The blessed author, now Baba is saying the same thing, the blessed author will later explain these three verses in connection with Kamanuka. Very important because we are Kamanuka, we are not in the other mood. The devotion 
that follows in the wake of Ragatmika Bhakti is called Raga Nuga Bhakti. The devotion that is manifest in Krishna's eternal associate in Bracha is called Rag Atmika Bhakti. This Rag Atmika Bhakti is of two kinds Sambandarupa and Kamarupa. Baba is explaining now. The devotion of servants like Raktaka and Patraka, friends like Sridam and Supal, and parents like Nanda and Yashoda are called Sambandarupa Ragatmika Bhakti. And now comes the important point, while only the amorous devotion of Sri Ratha and the other beautiful girls of Braja is famous as Kamaruka, Kamarupa Ragatmika Bhakti. Clear? Could if you want to say something? More clear. Let us repeat yes. line. Yes. So, the devotion which is in the heart of the eternal associates of Bracha is called Rag Atmika Bhakti. Those are the perfected souls which are eternally there. This Rag Atmika Bhakti is twofold. One is called Sambandha Rupa and one is called Kama Rupa. So then Baba is explaining Sambandha Rupa, which is based on relationship, and Kama Rupa is based on love and passion. This devotion of servants like Raktaka and Patraka, friends like Sridam and Subal, so Dasyam, Sakyam, and parents like Nanda and Yashoda, which is Vatsalya. These rasas are called Sambandha Rupa Rak Atmika Bhakti because they have no amorous touch, while only the amorous devotion of Sri Ratha and the other beautiful girls of Braja is famous as Kama Rupa Rak Atmika Bhakti. Just as there are two kinds of Ragatmika Bhakti, namely Sambandha Rupa and Kama Rupa, there are also two kinds of us we are, who are practicing, of Raganuka, followers of them. Some are called Sambandhanuka for these first rasas and Kamanuka, amorous love. Sriman Mahaprabhu and the Gaudiya Vaishnava Acharyas who have surrendered to his lotus feet, have preached the Kamanuka Bhakti in the mood of Radha Dasya or Manjari Bhav Sadhana to this world. Therefore, the blessed author Srila Vishwana Chakravadipat has determined that he would explain these three verses only within the scope of Kamanuka Bhakti. So now he's going into explaining these three verses. First, through, this is uh, verse 11 now. First, through the words remembering Krishna, Good if you like this very much. It is revealed that Raga is a special feature of the mind. Therefore, one should remember. Therefore, the aspect of Smaranam remembrance is the foremost on the path of Raganuga. Tarun Baba. Yes. I just uh, 
at the moment I feel that many cannot listen, uh, follow, follow the, the, the stream of, of, of this beautiful, uh, Chica or, uh, purport. And I want to ask you, can you repeat this with your own words that how to remember with the, with a loving mood? Uh, um, because I remember when I, I, um, Many times in my practice of bhakti, I felt uh, lost um, because I am here a human on this planet Earth. I try to be, a, you know, bhakta or dasi. But then there's this high goal of uh, the spiritual world and how to, and I use this word again, how to bridge it. And for me, um, I have found some help when uh, Gurudev, Uh, Sadhu Maharaj was always teaching us about Bhajana Kriya, no? how to connect the two. and uh, Because then the remembrance is not artificial. I want to say that when I think that Krishna is God, then it's sometimes difficult to remember him. Because I am just trying to look for shelter or for help as a human being. You know what I mean? Then I'm just more in this mood, oh God, please help me. I feel so lost in this world. I am so much uh, uh, sick of this existence as a human. It seems to be so full of duality and suffering. And so for a lot of time in my life, I was in this category of a bhakta. I tried to surrender to the divine or to God as a human. And then it seemed, he seemed to be so far away, like Gurudev sometimes say, it's not a local call, it's a distant call. Because we are feeling distant and we are feeling not so much in relation. But actually to remember means you have some love, you have some relation. So what uh, is your experience, how to remember the 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 leela, the dham, and our service mood as a dasi in a relationship and not just feeling lost by, you know, feeling so far away. How is this, how is this, how is your experience with this? How did Baba teach you this gap? <clears throat> First of all, I was, I was thinking, um, I was thinking to choose these verses. I don't want to go over over the head, but I, I was actually thinking, choosing these verses because these verses clearly show only one thing. They may be technical, but actually they show only one thing. Um, how to take shelter is only to understand that we are in a relationship. So I was choosing these verses because the essence of all these three verses is that we, Sadhu Maharaj Gurdjieff, many, many times told us that relationship is the most and most important point. So when I was meditating about these verses, I was thinking that it would be of great help to understand exactly, to make clear our mind, what is, what is that relationship I want? What relationship do I really want with Radha and with Krishna, especially in our case with Radha? So I, I was thinking that this, when you hear about that, that we should follow an associate of the Lord in Bracha to our own desire. So like you said, we have been in this world helplessly searching as a jiva lost in the ocean of samsara. But for me, it was always very, very helpful to always take shelter in the knowledge that actually I have an eternal relationship with the Lord. And there are our Mahajans who can give us strength by really, really focusing on that relationship. So for me personally, it is so important. I, I just, in my life, it's very, m many disturbances are going on, but always you have to fix on your relationship. 
Giri Dari is sitting upstairs. My father is in an old age home. The world is in turmoil. But every day I sit down and I always take this sheet Baba gave me with the information of my Siddha Deha and my relationship with Swamini. I always read it, always try to have this strong faith and nishta in this relationship. And when we hear these verses, Chatrahi, Gurudev always says, Chatrahi can also mean the umbrella of our Siddha Deha. Nothing in this world. Baba was saying in one thing, Sadhana is here and Siddhi must be here too. Otherwise, when we go, we go with nothing. So at least we can try to always, even in this world, when you are outside in the world, always remember that you have an anchor in your heart, that there is an anchor which fixes you to the spiritual world. It cannot be taken away by any measurement, by any distress. It will always be there. Gurudev implanted that seed always in our heart. And by reading these, for example, these three wonderful verses, it gives you a recipe. It gives you a recipe. What, what Gurudev is always saying, don't read too many books. So when I read this, I made a an, blog an about these three verses. When I read these three verses, it is crystal clear. What shall we read? How should we feed our minds with information? What kind of information should we put in our minds? And this is very clear. The one information that supports your desired relationship with the Lord, with Radha. So we are Manchari Bhav Sadaks. So we should only read and give prasadam to our mind only <laughs> in this category. Only in this category. And I found this very helpful that there are angas of bhakti, which are very not favorable. All these mudra, all these, these Aishwarya things, you respect them, but you don't distract your mind with all the different philosophies, all reading tons of books. Baba Gurdjieff is saying you need two books. Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi and Vila So for me, yeah. the, for me, the bridge from the material world to the spiritual world is that I always have this treasure box. I always have this, what nobody can take away from you, Sunidhi, from everyone here who received it. It cannot be taken away. It cannot be, in my case, probably used right now, but it gives me an immense feeling of, of calmness and security and safety that there is something waiting for me one day, you know, and this is give, giving very much strength. So I was thinking, of course, it is not technical, but when, when Vishwama Chakravadipad is saying that Kamanuga, we should follow those line only, and he is only giving the explanation of Kamanuga Bhakti, that is clear that we should only follow Rupa and Raghunath and Rupa Manchari and Radhi Manchari. So this was my intention to read these verses to establish this nishta in this relationship only with the desired ishta. Hmm? So this is giving me personally so much strength to know where I belong. I'm not belonging to this world. I belong to a different world. This is what I can say. Radhe, Radhe, can I share something? Yes, sure. I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not in charge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tarun now you are in charge, Tarun Baba. You are reading, yeah, and Tarun then Baba when they ask charge. you, you can introduce them. No, I'm just so, I want to say how grateful we all are for Tarun Baba and this clarity uh, he brings to these texts. It's uh, he's such an uh, you're such an expert uh, reader. It's really a, a gift for our for our family. But I also want to to give a loving uh, hug and support to Suniti Didi's uh, point of view. I think you're expressing some expressing something that many um, many feel that it's difficult to make this uh, this connection. And of course, uh, Tarun Baba is exactly right that Gurudev says, "Don't read too many books." And the aim of our, the aim of our, 
practice is to increase emotion. And I and I really want to support you on this, Niti. That's uh, and if you haven't, to all of uh, brothers and sisters, if you haven't been following the Wednesday meetings, without any exception, there's not one minute lost in listening to that and feeling and seeing how everyone in our family has this this connection in very sort of everyday terms, not very learned and enlightened terms like my own that I shared the other day was quite uh, silly, really, but nonetheless that we have this inner divine love and inner divine spark, and that's that's part of the bridging too between the the enlightened understanding of the of the text and the everyday experience of love that we we're, we're looking for. So I thank you both, Torumbaba and Sunniti. Yeah. Thank you, Udava, for sharing. Yes, that's only so my much. intention. I just want to to uh, slow Tarun Baba a little bit down and squeeze some nectar <laughs> of his uh, we should, life we squeeze, experience. We should squeeze, we should squeeze Gurudev. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, Gurudev also likes to listen, you know. He is also enjoying now, I feel. Look, <laughs> and he's relaxing. He just had massage. So he's enjoying yeah. our Leela, our our sharing, our our feelings with each other. And uh, yes, thank you, Tarun Baba. Go on. Uh, I just, I didn't want to interrupt no, you. No, no. I just want I understand. to go, go I understand. Deeper. I understand that, that it is a technical thing in the beginning, but you will, it is like, like word have said, it is so important that we, I heard this word so many times, Seva Sadaka Rupena Chatrahi, but you made the point, Suniti, that without this shelter, without this beautiful umbrella, this this this, this shelter we have, Govinda Priya and I yesterday, we went to my uncle's 80th birthday, you know, and, and there have so many people have been there, but always when you come home, you enter your house and you know, whew, my God, we are so fortunate. Now on the way, we will listen to, to Baba's to the lecture about Baba's disappearance day and Govinda Priya was saying, my God, what a fortune. We had to meet such elevated souls, still Sadhu Maharaj is sitting in our midst, elevate, most elevated souls. So we, we have so much fortune. So this, this alone is, 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 yeah, it's so much, so powerful. Even if you struggle in the material world, I think this, this feeling of safety, this feeling, many people, I remember many people criticized me. Why are you, you had, you are not, you are not realized. Why did you real have Siddha Pranadi? So many times I told them, first of all, it is a personal matter. Second of all, it gives me immense strength to know where I belong. And more I don't discuss this matter because this is the point. It gives you it gives you strength, it gives you hope, and it gives you nishta. Otherwise, what is there? Baba is saying, when you go, what can you take with you? You can only take with you your devotional life, nothing else. Mm. Right? I think it's a wonderful, uh, I think it's a wonderful uh, display ah. of how big our family is. This enormous erudition that uh, Tarun Baba has an experience, direct experience with Ananda Das Babaji, and the gathering effect that Suniti Didi has on this whole family. It's like a mother. She's yeah. Ahmad Mataji. <laughs> and you can you can you can see sometimes I posted videos when I, I was with Baba. I don't post these videos to 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 make to make myself appear as special. I always posted the darshans I had with Baba to, to show that all the spiritual life is based on love and affection. This was always what I wanted. This was always what I was looking for. In this world, you don't get this often. Rarely you find someone who is on that platform who gives you real and paka affection and true affection. But you can see that actually all, when you, when you see when I saw Sadhu Maharaj and Baba, there is one video when Bab Sadhu Maharaj went to Baba, how affectionate both reacted towards each other. When I saw how Binod 
Bihari Ras Babaji was was treated with my Gurudev. You can see that actually all these great, great Mahapurushas, how they interact with each other, you can feel that this love. And therefore, coming back to the verses or the verses, therefore you see that actually we all want these feelings. That is what we want. When you go into Raganuga Bhakti, it is all about feelings. I want to feel like Sadhumaraj. I want to feel like my Gurudev. I want to feel like, you know, Keshav Baba. I want to feel, I want this path. This is what, what we want. Ah, read. Yes. I'm reading. <laughs> Gurudev, um, you wanted to add something, please. Sorry. No, I want to listen. <coughs> Beloved, okay, uh, first, through the words remembering Krishna, it is revealed that raga, attraction, is a special feature of the mind. Therefore, one should remember. Therefore, the aspect of remembrance is foremost on the path of Raganuga. Beloved means the dearmost. Sri Krishna, the Lord of Prindavan, who enjoys pastimes suitable to his own mood. His people means Sri Krishna's people. Who are they? For this it is said, of one's own preference, which means the desirable ones whom we want to follow such as Sri Ratha, the mistress of Vrindavan, Lalita, Vishaka, Rupa Mancharis, and others. Although Sri Krishna is the object of one's desire in a passionate mood, the associates of Sri Krishna, the ladies of Braja, headed by Sri Ratha, are even more the object of the devotees' desires on account of their having an excessive amount of passionate feelings which the devotees desire. Living in Braja, this statement means that if it is not physically possible, at least in one's mind, one should live in Braja, in the present devotee sadaka form. With the sadaka form means in the present body. With the sita form means with one's own desire internally conceived body suitable for the direct service of Sri Krishna, desiring to attain their feelings means to take shelter of one's most cherished associate of Sri Krishna and one's desired Sri Rata, the beloved of Sri Krishna, being very anxiously desirous to attain the passionate feelings they have. So for us, this is our example is Rupa Manchari. Service. How is it done? It is described as being performed with either items collected <laughs> mentally Read again. I was disturbed to do um. Yes. With the sadaka form means the present body. With the sita form means with one's own desired internally conceived body mm. suitable for the direct service of Sri Krishna. Desiring to attain their feelings means 
to take shelter of one's cherished associate of Sri Krishna or Radha, the beloved of Sri Krishna, and being very anxious, desiring to attain the passionate feelings they have. So for us, this means following Rupa Manjari. Service. One thing I want to say now. Please. Actually, we are only talking about Radha. And they think why Krishna is coming. I understand. How. We are only talking because Radha Sudhanidhi and we love Kusumanjali in the book. To meditate in Radharani and meditate in your Manjari self. And this is for Krishna. So means is a gopi bhava, but this is become cool for them. You know, particular means that, that not favorable. Because is Krishna by coming, because till now we are meditating in Radhika, but this is Siddhanta. This is, we have a Siddhanta, basic thing. When the foundation is strong, we can go higher. So what uh, Tarun Baba is telling, you, how you can meditate in Radha and how you can develop your Manjari Sarup, when this foundation is not strong, this is the exactly, point. exactly, very wonderful, Gurudev. Exactly. Yes. So this is the foundation. The I, uh, although Manjari say I have no interest with Krishna, but but uh, it's okay because my goal is Radha. But here. Radha is not coming, the importance of Krishna is there. But it is a <coughs> to, to, to come to Radha Rani Mercy, we have to understand this, uh, how this mercy is flowing to us. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What is the feeling, good? What is the path that we are desiring? This is the question. This is the question. That will come now. Yes. Go on. Service. How it is done? It is described as being performed with either items collected mentally or items collected with the physical body. <laughs> we, we, know about, we collect items mentally, materially. We collect physical body item with my senses. So our collection is this. So that has to be changed. We have to collect item from the classic association. And we have to collect from the physical body in the service. That item, listening and service and chanting, how much I can remember you chanting is remembering you. Also, Gurudev, it is important that things done mentally has the same the same value as done in the in the Sadak body, because we know this story that one Baba who was cooking rice in his mind, he burned his finger and he had his his finger burned while doing manasik seva. So in both. Seva, this happened. In mm. Sadak Deha also, mm. when you think in mind and mind works for that, then your physical body act. Mm. So everything starts from the, our mind. Yes. So This was the first thing Baba was writing. It's, it's, it, it's the mind. Mind. Mind has to be so corrected that other thing not comes. <coughs> One Baba is yeah. Sudhanidhi, we are reading every day 170. 
217. This is the first thing we read. And after that, uh, Raghunath Baba will read you. It's a very nice meditation. We do this. Yeah, go on. The nature yeah. of the the nature of this service is described as following the people of Braja. Following yeah. the following the residents of Braja means to serve according to the model of Sri Rupa Goswami Pad and other residents of Braja in the Sadaka form, and to serve according to the model. Sri Rupa Manchari and other Mancharis of Praja in the Sita form. In one Sadaka form, following the people of Praja is understood to mean the, the following of those who attained a relationship with Sri Krishna in Vrindavan such as Chantra Kanti and others, the sages who lived in the forest of Tandaka and the perfected Shrutis who are mentioned in the Brihad Vaman Purana. Following too the above... Me this is too much technical. This, yes. This is Later, let more. Yes, yes. No, this is not right thing. Yes. This is out from the Radha meditation. Yes. If yes. people and will have to somehow, you are bringing two out from the now. Yes. Yes. On, on, leave this yes. up. Go ahead. Bring yes. to Vrindavan. Only. Yes. Keep in Vrindavan. The third verse. Thus the first and second verse told of Smaranam and residing in Braja. Hmm. The third verse will describe the various aspects of Bhajan, headed by hearing. Shravana, Kirtana and so forth means engagement in hearing and chanting. Absolutely. And this is Radhara Sudhanidhi's telling, teaching. And we have one course of Manjari is teaching. It's too much. <coughs> yeah, go on. Go on, go, go on. Further. Attaining the shelter of the feet of Sri Guru and other practices depend on them. By neglecting the sadhana of hearing and chanting and following the residence of Vrindavan will not be accomplished. Yeah. This means that intelligent people will use that discrimination, engaging in the aspect of sadhanas which are compatible with their own mood, not, not doing which is adverse to their yeah. mood. What is the what, what is the use to listen to that? <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Now Baba is explaining. The blessed author has quoted three verses from Sri Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu and has explained them in relation to Kamanuka devotees. Beginning with the first verse, where the devotees practice the remembrance of Sri Krishna, who enjoys recording. Read the Bhavala Read the Bhavala Sati. Und wenn es geht, ein bisschen langsamer für die Übersetzer. Danke. Okay. Where the devotee practices the remembrance of Sri Krishna as well as his own favorite associates such as Sri Rata, Lalita, Vishaka, and Sri Rupa Manjari. Raga is the natural function of the mind, and so is Smaranam. 
And therefore, the blessed author says that smarnam is the main and major item of Raganuga Bhajan. Srila Narottam Das Thakur has said, do not neglect the practice of Lila Smaranam. Keep this as the essence with body and mind. The very life force of the mind is Marana, which is the abode of all sweetness. And the essence of Smarana are the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. This is the means, this is the goal, and there is nothing apart from this. This truth is the essence of everything. The Raga Nuga Sadakas perform their bhajan by residing in Raja. And it is said that one is unable to reside in Braja physically, one must reside there mentally. Honey is needed, but when that is not available, one must use brown sugar. Braja rasa is one of the main five items of bhajan, which has inconceivable potencies. This is a most confidential item in bhajan. In the Puranas, it is described that simply by living in Mathura Mandal for one day, one attains Hari Bhakti, which is prayed for even by the liberated souls. Therefore, the sadhakas are always advised to live and to engage in discussing topics of the pastimes of the beloved Ishtadev. We are living doing that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Living in Brajabhumi specifically enables one to visualize the pastimes of one's beloved Sri Sri Radha Madhav. Right. In the sadaka body, which is the present physical body, as well as in the Siddha Rupa, which is the mentally conceived spiritual body, which is suitable for direct service to them, or the Guru given Manchari Swarupa. Raganuka devotees serve Sri Sri Radha Madhava following the people of Raj and nourish the powerful desire to relish the most wonderfully brilliant, passionate sweetness of their forms, attributes, and pastimes in their hearts. <coughs> Just as one serves Sri Sri Madhav in the external body with different articles according to the particular time, similarly, one meditates on rendering such services with the same articles collected with the Siddha Deha. Then again, one meditates on rendering service to Sri Sri Radha Madhav in one Siddha Deha in the kingdom of the Eightfold Daily Transcendental Pastime, according to the right time. The devotees should serve in two ways, always in allegiance to the people of Braja. 
as far as able to, the devotee should render service or do bhajan like Sri Rupa Sanatan by living in Bracha. Rupa and in his Sanatan. Listen, Rupa and Sanatan. What is Rupa and Sanatan? Sadat there. Sambandha. First we have to be to develop Sambandha, Rupa Sanatan. <coughs> in Radhara Sudhanidhi and Vilakusu Mantri is very clear mention. Many times. Rupa Sanatan, Rupa Raghunath. By fortune, they are they are in in Radhara Suradiri and Vilakusu Manjari. I don't know they know or not know Krishna much, but they are totally surrendered with Radharani. So they think it's something too much for them. This uh, Prem Bhakti Chandrika is a very good book who never knows about these things, about Radha <coughs> pastime. Listen, Adha Manjari Saru. Bhavala Srati explained to them. Then they will feel some. Because now it's coming to Bhavala Srati. See that. <coughs> to bring in for Bhavala Srati, Bhavadita. Hmm. It's not, this is now one or two line, one or two paragraphs, and then the text is finished. But I can bring paragraph, then you see they will be happy. Then you explain. Huh? Rupa Sanatan by living, you know. And in his Sita Rupa, he should mentally render service in allegiance to the Raja people like Sri Rupa Manjari. Uh, he may this is Rupa Mandir, leader. He may also attain devotional service in the form of a copy in Braja by engaging in bhajan in allegiance to Nitya Sita Gopis. The sadaka should mentally render service by following in their footsteps. In allegiance to their activities. Satane bhavi boyaha sita deha bhabota. According to what I have thought of during my sadhana, I will get my sita deha. Yeah. So there are two. Everything is foreigner for him. What I will meditate, I will get that. Why I will collect many things to think on that? Mm. <laughs> yeah, go on. Uh, there are two kinds, Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila, Chapter 22. There are two kinds of practice. External and internal. Extern Externally, one practices hearing and chanting in one's yeah. physical sadak body, mm -hmm. and internally, one meditates on one's own sita body in which one serves Sri Krishna day and night. Without practicing the limbs of bhajan, such as hearing and chanting, the sadaka cannot attain perfection, becoming free from maya in his own bhajan or through his allegiance to the people of Braja. Along with hearing and chanting, one is meant to follow as much as possible the angas of bhajan, starting with taking shelter of Guru that Sri Rupa Goswami has mentioned. 
An intelligent sadhaka should use his intelligence and follow the items of bhajan properly. He should not act contrary to his own feelings, for that will cause obstructions of his attainment of prema. This is the end of the text. There is no Bhava <coughs> No, Bhava is in, in the in, uh, uh, introduction to Vilabhakusamanjali. <laughs> so, um, then that you understand, this is for Krishna Bhakta, not for Manjali. Bhava is Manjali Bhava Yes. This is not Manjari Bhav Sadhana. This is how to develop Raga Atmika. For us, Manjari, it is only Bhavala Sarati which is desirable. Then what is, what is the use to know other things? Is it information gathering? Okay. Read. Two seventeen. Radha Sudhani, two seventeen. Oh, Tawun Baba, I have one question for you. Yes. No, no, but first to listen this one. Okay. Also, I'm in the <coughs> Take the speaker. You, your voice will not go. <laughs> What, Rade Rade, read my dear. What is the use to ask of holy books on the paths that they show, even if they are followed by great saints, if they don't carry? the nectarian clarification and description of Sri Radhika, who is love personified. Aha, ha, what the use of all the luxury of Vaikuntha to us, if my Radha is not there. No. No. Just let my sweet aspirations for Sri Radha's playground, Vrindavan, remain with me, even after millions of births. Radha. No. <coughs> 217. 217, yes. <laughs> Radha, Radha, could I ask you a question here? Manjaris are bhavala satis. They practice, trying to practice by Rupa Manjari, gifted by through Mahaprabhu to Rupa Goswami, bhavala Yeah, I think it's a really important verse, this 217. I think about this often, and I, I want to ask you, is, isn't, it, uh, isn't it the other way, that every time we see love in the world, when we see beautiful things in the world, when we hear beautiful music or see beautiful things that we're not, we're seeing Radha. You see, Radha Rani is a Sakti. Radha Sakti is love. And the Gajada is the expression even in the, all the plants, animals, creation, everywhere. What do you see the love? Is Radha Yes, yes. And, right. uh, 
and uh, he is a Gajadhar. And Gajadhar mantra is Radha Rupai. No other mantra. Gajadhar is Radha. Radha Rupai. Love is no other. Only is Radha. Mm. <coughs> Her Shakti is moving in whole creation. Whole creation with love, with care, with the service is what is happening is Radha Shakti. This is Gajadha. Now, when I see Radha Rani, I see also her expansion, Gajadha. This is the Radha Shakti. In this material, she not go any place from the Kunja, but Radha Shakti <coughs> is in the, even the plants. If you care like this and put some water, it will grow flower very fast. It's a Radha Shakti. <laughs> Radha receiving love. Every place what you receive or give is Radha. You respect anything with the love is Radha. Nowhere, nothing. Is the mercy of Radha. This is yes. Radha. This is Radha. So when I'm reading the beautiful poem that makes my heart feel big, then this is Radha there. Any place there is no thing exists without Radha and Krishna. Where is the Radha? What the receiver? One is a giver, one is a receiver. Radha is a giving and Krishna is receiving. This, this is the creation. Jai ho, jai ho. There is nothing out of the creation. One is a giver, one is a receiver. <coughs> and who can give? Radha can give only. That Shakti of Radhika is giving through different, different circumstances. Jaiho. And receive. That is his lover can receive because he he cannot deny to receive that. <coughs> So is the universal. What you see is is a, is a Radha and Krishna is the only is the creation creation total creation exists with that. But it needs divine reason to be feel that. <laughs> When we will practice in our Rupa and Sanatan Sambandha again, when we will develop Sambandha, inner, outer will be we also. Seva Sadak Rupena, when you will be in this mode, you start serving. When you will reach to your Siddha Deha, it will be like an umbrella to you. You see only that. Siddha Rupena Chhatrihi is a become umbrella. You start living under that umbrella. There is nothing out. What we are doing is a bhajan kriya. Hmm. So what we're doing in our seva, when I'm what? writing, when I'm writing in my seva, I'm trying to find the place to give Virada words. Is is not you are doing? You are want to be ready to do some bhajan, taking bath, anything you do with the, your actions is also. You prepare yourself to do seva is also seva. Every action is a kriya. 
when I meet with uh, one of Baba and that Baba Ji disciple, his name was what? Is Tarun Baba? Russian devotee. Yoga, Yoga Dishwam. He said, 24 7. 24-7 you have to be in Bhajan. <coughs> I start thinking, 24 7. Really, 24 7 has to be fixed. And Bhajan Kriya can fix you. I realize it. I was not practicing 24 7, honestly. He inspired me. The Guru is in the form of everyone who is coming and teaching you. Mm. He, he 24 7 saved me. And then my, my money is, is an instruction for me to do and see that. And if you practice and relish that, wow. But in the, in the, bhajan is mentioned. Bhajan Kriya is mentioned. Yes, but in two the do, verse two, in two seventeen it says it, it must talk about Radhika. It must describe Radhika. And I think <coughs> when I'm when I'm doing my dishes and washing my house with with love, then Radha is there without description. Yeah. You see, Baba is writing this book, right? And Baba is writing with Radha Sudhanidhi and Vilakusumanjali. He is writing for Krishna Bhakta how to bring to the Raga Bhakti. Raga to Prem Bhakti Chandrika. To how to bring there. Uh, who become Radha Bhakta? He only talk about Radhika. You see, he think he bow last attitude. Mm. Same Baba. Yeah, yeah. Bringing to Krishna Bhakta with this book. So I select all the books of Baba, is all. Premakti Chandrika is a wonderful book. Yeah. But he's on. if you have no Prema, then you read. <laughs> God, if my, in, God, if my intention was with the text to, to lay the foundation that we should actually desire to. To, to follow the feelings of the Mancharis. By the grace of Baba, this foundation is laid down automatically mm. to the full mind also. They don't know about Krishna and when they see the God Krishna, they become nervous because they don't recognize this God Krishna. You can see the love. If they are merciful, they don't want to see Lord Krishna. Is not mercy of Radhika. Mm. Is, is this the mercy of Radhika? What is this outside man? He comes. This is not Braja. Brajendra Nanda. This is the mercy of Baba, yaar. <coughs> Because I know this book, not from now. I know this book from 80s. 80s, when it was in Bangla. That time I know this book. And from that time, I don't know about inside. But my one of the God brother. Radha Mohan Das Babaji. He is calling me in the room and he you know, allowed two other person to sit with that. Uh, one is reader and we two persons are li listening in Bangla. So I know these two books Radha Rasudhaniti and Vilakusamanjati. These are the good. These are the only books to support our cherished feelings. I hundred percent. This is what Baba is saying. We only need Radha Dasyam. Finish. Radha Dasyam 
other all going in circle from Krishna Bhakti to Radha. Bhakti. Yes, yes, yes. Just straight to Radha. That's yeah. No need to get any information of Supreme Lord. Yes. Oh, mix up. You cannot mix up. <laughs> You understand? Bhav yes. Ras Rati yeah, yeah. want to be the Bhav Ras Rati. He is not like, like to gather information of Kamanugar or some Bhagat Mija. He has interest. Like a Mother Jasoda has no interest. Where my Krishna is going and where is the her lover and friends? Friends has no interest in his personal life. He's all out for, for different, different way. Mother has no interest for the son. Lovers, similarly, lover has interest to see mother. Lover has interest to take care of the friends. But they are not. So, Peter, this. Radha Rani is all rasas are there. All rasa come in Bhava Lakshati. And that is Rupanura. That is uh, without following Rupa Goswami is not. <coughs> Rupa Sanatan, Rupa Raguna. This the good if this was Seva Sadaka Rupena Chatra, he it culminates in Baba Lasarati. There is no other way. It for us it is only this way. And gathering information, my dear, is not a good idea. We will never reach okay. to the goal. Okay, I will I will not I will not do anymore. Yes. I was I'm very I am very sorry yes. about this point. No, no, I say you two books on the Ubhayari. And okay. after a month, you try to read other book. You will be clear. Your no, no, Kovadev, I know what you mean. I was just thinking that it helps to have this foundation, but I was wrong. I'm, I'm very sorry. Nothing, 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 nothing. Foundation for Krishna Bhakta. Okay. Who got it? His, his job is done. Okay. So easy. So easy way you can see that. Yes. You no need any details information. Are they? Yes. Manjari, okay. It's next Manjari, time someone else is, is doing. Manjari has automatic sadhana. She is fixed always. Outside, not want to show because she wants to keep confidence here. Her Swami confidence here. You go to the Manjari Sadaka, even remember, you go to Anandas Babaji, you go to Vinod Baba, they will never talk about anything. They talk, how are you, where you are staying, what you take prasadam. This is the thing. What you, you are not listening, Tarun Baba. You open your speaker. I am telling very good thing to you. When you go to God, what happened? He asked some, some, he teaching you. Are you asking where you are staying? How is everyone? What you eat? On this subject. This is Madhuri Bhav, means they are hiding their Bhav. When you scratch Bhava alone, then he will see. One line, everything is there. One word, everything is there. Sitting only in the front of them, life change. This is 
सिद्ध दे सिद्ध पुरुष वो मंजरी भाव सिद्ध अवस्था मानी पाए दर्शन आईसी माई गुरुदेव आईसी आनंद बाबा जी आईसी विनोद बाबा आईसी एवरी वन वो गेट द सिद्ध स्टेज देहा आरती इज गोइंग 